Hello and welcome to Denture Capital's Declassified. Today we are going to talk about Snapdeal. Yes, Snapdeal. That kid who gets punished in class when the kid with a similar name does the mischief. <laughs> Snapdeal. The girl who spends a fortune on getting a new haircut and her friends don't even talk about it. Snapdeal is in the news again after Japanese VC giant SoftBank have reportedly secured the crucial nod from co-investor Nexus Venture Partners to sell the investing e-commerce company to its biggest domestic rival, Flipkart. It is said that the Snapdeal founders were aligned to this intent about a month ago. However, Nexus was not in agreement over the valuation suggested for this deal to happen. Much like a salaried IT employee dreaming of not settling for anything below a BMW as a first car and then having to settle for a Maruti Auto 800. <laughs> Now, I know many people in their Facebook posts and Medium blogs would be uniquely critiquing this scenario and cribbing about how this move depicts a lost battle for one of the players. But before getting all judgmental, let's look at the facts here. First of all, this deal if completed would mark the biggest acquisition in the Indian e-commerce space, which has been witnessing unhealthy competition between players, unjustifiably burning cash to stay in the race, instead of working on much needed areas of improvement. Secondly, with bigger fish in the sea like Amazon, the heat would only increase with time. Kitna bhi try karlo, when you're Ashok Dinda and you're up against Chris Gale, you're bound to get hit out of the park <laughs> eventually. Gale hai to chakka marega hi. And here's a thing, when you have handful holding in the company and have not been able to run the business profitably, stakeholders who have put in billions will not watch you exhaust their funds with their hands folded. Apne aap bachche mohalle wale tuition mein ek din bang bhi maar de to papa ka gyan chalu ho jata hai. Meri khoon pasine ki kamai hai. Aise doston ke saath gulcharre udane ke liye fees nahi bhari hai mainne. Veerwal ji ke bete ko dekho JE mein bhi 100% laya hai. SoftBank has been reportedly forced to write off 9,000 crores in loss as per a latest statement issued by an official. And this was also an investment. If you have a loan of 9,000 crores, you have to cut the loan in jail. I remember that Vijay Malia. This scene also proved an important point. The productivity of the team goes down when the boss is away. Flipkart, on the other hand, will try to use this to their advantage in their fight against the deep-pocketed Amazon. But just like the average Indian consumer shopping in a supermarket going, this sauce ki bottle ke saath to jam ki shishi free hai na? Flipkart ne bhi ek baar to socha hoga. Kash Snapdeal ke saath free charge bhi saath mein free mein aaja ta, to kitna achha hota. Iske to naam mein bhi free hai. That's it for today on Denture Capital's Declassified. We'll be back with the next one soon. And if you thought any of the jokes in this episode were not funny, you know our writers found them on Snapdeal. Thanks for watching.